Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on why the warm weather now, the warm and dry weather for much of the nation, especially east of the Rockies, because the northwest will be really wet, but why the east of the nation, I mean east of the Rockies, could be receiving a cold December and snowy December because of the warm weather now. And the reason I'm saying this because it's actually been for the past several years here in Chicago, we had a really rough start to the winter, like December 4th, the beginning of December, December 5th, 6th, we had a lot of snow laying on the ground. And then when it came to December uh, December 25th, Christmas time, it all melted. And then for the rest of the winter, we had a really mild winter. So now it's the opposite. We're going to have a really mild start to the winter. There's going to pre be pretty much no snow during this December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, on any of those years, any of those days. So we that could indicate a um, a snowy start, a snowy winter for December and January and February because there's even a Polish saying, and I'm Polish, so you could probably even tell by the accent, but um, there's a Polish saying that rhymes, but it doesn't rhyme in English because it uses different words, but it pretty much says that if December 4th is going to be in ice, then Christmas time is going to be in water. So it pretty much says that if it's gonna be it's gonna be cold if it's gonna be cold early December it's gonna most likely be warm late December and that's actually coming true and it's the opposite so if it's gonna be warm December fourth and it's gonna be cold December twenty fifth and snowy so I mean I'm not saying I'm basing this off as saying but for the past several years this has been the truth and it's it's just it just pretty much makes sense because if you think about it dry weather. Is going to occur with warm and sunny temperatures. It's not going to stay like that all winter. A p pattern change is bound to come. And so that pattern change is going to most likely come with precipitation when it's the coldest time of the year, December, January. So that will most likely fall as snow. So that's why if it's going to be, if there's going to be a lot of rain right now, then there's, it's going to be a pattern change into drier weather later on. And that's going to be when the cold weather is and that's when it's supposed to be snowing. And there will be no snow because all the precipitation fell during early December when it was still warm enough for rain. So that's actually a good sign for the eastern half of the nation if there's going to be less precipitation and moisture now to work with for later part of December. So let's get right into this. First off, um, you could see pretty much nothing going on across much of the nation. Um, some systems up in the north skimming. You can see it's raining way up into uh, into Canada. A couple of systems in the west, but the west it doesn't really apply that much this system because usually, um, what I think is the north uh, northwest will just be rainy and snowy this pretty much this whole season. Depends where you live. Higher elevations will be snowier and lower elevations will be rainier. I think so because the La Nina is going to predict a very consistent weather pattern for the west but it's going to be very variant for the east especially at the beginning so you can see pretty much nothing a few systems maybe some snowflakes but really that's not that much for this time of the year but you can see generally dry and this go this is already december 4th mainly rain you can see finally some snow appearing into the east but still not that much and this is already december so this is when a pattern change could occur into more snow and um you can see some lake effects so that's some sign of some cold air coming through now let's look at that two temperature two meter temperature anomaly so that's surface temperature let's move this back um seeing if like pretty much shows you if it's going to be above average or below average and where so anywhere you see the blue it's below average temperature anywhere you see the red it's going to be above average temperature and you can see west above average temperatures and east below for the beginning but then it transitions into the warm and dry pattern you could see some especially across the m main it could stay a little bit more or cooler there because there's gonna be some cooler shots but mainly you could see a lot of warm air for the center of the country and this is going to be some pretty warm air 20 to 16 degrees above average so um it's it's then it sort of regular regulars out like sort of thins out the warm air but Still, I'm thinking that at least halfway, maybe, I don't know if this pattern change will occur into, um, maybe it might occur before Christmas, so there might be a white Christmas for many, but there also, it might occur during January and be rough, a rough snowy pattern for the East for January and February. So this video will be what could mean a snowy pattern for December, what could, because I'm not sure when this pattern change will take place, most likely early December, but it still could delay a couple of weeks off. And I would just like to show you the forecast where I live. Um, you could see the next several days, really warm and sunny, 50s, and it's December, so that's going to be absolutely incredible. 
it's gonna be nice to experience but if you're a snow lover like me it's not not to, not the best weather and but you can see towards the end december 5th 6th 7th some rain snow showers finally cooling down but it's still above average it's just that overall it just cools down in general so that means that the below average so that means above average would still be in the 30s since it's the average is around in the 20s so um that's pretty much it guys so just just a thing to keep in mind even though it's a warm winter now for many across the east it'll be warm weather it doesn't mean that the winter is going to be mild and warm this could uh, this could be actually an indicator of a cold winter coming so as always thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you if you'd subscribe and like the video so Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode.